Hi, this is Dr. Teach from Recharge Clinic. And I just wanted to let you know something that um, we just found out. I just got home and I just wanted to make a video of this to let you guys um, be informed of some stuff that just has happened. Um, really for the past six weeks, we have been treating um, COVID patients or people who are affected with the COVID virus. Um, initially, we treated about three or 400 people with just medications, um, the antiparasitic, uh, antibiotics, steroids, and IV fluids and nebulizer treatments, and we had excellent results. People were making excellent turnarounds with that. And then we were introduced with, um, into the monoclonal antibodies. And we got these um, directly from Regeneron. They're the manufacturer of these antibodies. And we infused about 300 patients with these antibodies. And we tried to treat pretty much anyone we could with them that was early in their disease, people who were at very high risk factors and such, just as the company recommended. And we had excellent results. Um, and so we've been in the process of ordering them and receiving them. When we went to place our last order, we received uh, a kickback email that what's happened is we're no longer allowed to order directly from Regeneron. And in fact, um, the federal government, the COVID response team, has taken over this um, distribution. And so what they've done is taking it from a centralized place where that we could order to now they said, effective September 13th, yesterday, that they are gonna be um, dispersing that out to um, the local um, health department agencies um, and the, as well as the state agencies to better regulate it. Um, so right now we are currently out of monoclonal antibodies and we've been trying to receive them. We placed several orders and we've been on hold for that. We're very hopeful that we're going to get them soon because patients did so well with that. When we did reach out to these um, local agencies, really, we didn't get much of a response. They are not aware uh, of this email as well. So um, that's a little bit frustrating. So they don't have any knowledge of that or any knowledge that they're going to receive any of these antibodies. So we're hopeful that in the next several days, this is going to clarify itself. But right now, a lot of providers who have been offering these antibodies are kind of running out. So it's a little bit um, of a difficult situation right now. Um, we are still going to be treating people with COVID infections at Recharge Clinic. I want to be clear about that. We're going to go back to this way that we did prior to using the antibodies. We're going to continue to use medications, um, antibiotics, steroids, IV fluids, and uh, inhalation therapy as needed. And we're going to be very aggressive like we have been. Fortunately and thankfully, we have seen a downtick in the number of patients that have been coming in. So I think that we're on the downslope of this surge of this virus locally. But still, a downturn, you know, doesn't mean zero. I mean, you know, before we were treating 40 people a day, now we're treating 20 people a day. So it has gone down, but there's still a lot of people. And I'm very concerned about that. So, um, you know, right now, like I said, we're going to continue to treat treatment people with our medications and we're going to have the doors open for you and we'll continue to do everything that we can and then when we get the antibodies or we get information about the antibodies we're going to let you know so that we can start offering that service again so i just wanted to give you an update on that everybody be well and stay strong